Hey guys, Desert Magic here, and if you weren't familiar, uh, Wizards brought back the World Magic Cup, which was a thing, I guess. Not when I was playing, it wasn't. All I know is I heard that they got rid of it for a while and then just brought it back and made a big deal about it. Well, if you look at the history of people trying to cheat at the World Magic Cup, um, it basically wouldn't be a 2017 World Magic Cup without somebody getting disqualified for cheating. Let's read Wizard's statement about this, uh, and this is the modified statement, their initial statement was inaccurate, something about cards in the graveyard, I don't know, whatever. During round 6 of the 2017 World Magic Cup, David Wolf from Ireland played chart a course and discarded two cards before passing the turn. Now of course, uh, the card chart a course says draw two cards, then discard a card, unless you attacked with a creature this turn. Everybody knows what the card does, it's hyper popular, it's been out for months, I don't think that this was on accident. Hey, and guess what? Neither does anybody else because those two cards were God Pharaoh's Gift and Angel of Invention. Hmm. Considering he's running the card Refurbish, that makes sense. Hey, speaking of that, he played Refurbish on the following turn. Guess what else? If he wouldn't have, he would have lost the game. I mean, there's transparent, and then there's like invisible. So the only other creature in the graveyard at the time was Sacred Cat, and that's not quite worth it, really. I mean, Lifelink is cool, but it's basically just like a one life gain double chump blocker because it's a bomb cost is only one. By the way, I love that card. So if he would have tossed just God Pharaoh's Gift into his graveyard, he would have lost. And if he would have tossed just Angel Invention into his graveyard, he would have lost. I assume, because they're making it sound like he didn't have enough mana to naturally cast uh, God Pharaoh's Gift, which is why that deck sucks. I just, I can't explain why that deck is doing so well. It's so touchy and so fragile. Maybe everybody's cheating with it. Maybe that's why. So as they put it, after an investigation, the judge ruled the infraction, a game violation for discarding too many cards, was intentional and gained an advantage. You think? As such, Wolf was disqualified from the World Magic Cup. The Irish team will continue to play on day two with two players. Get this. I love this. Oh my gosh taking a team match loss each round. This is why they need to cut this team crap, okay? It's just stupid. In fact, I think the next Pro Tour is some kind of team BS or whatever, the next GP, I don't remember. Or maybe this is the one with the teams where they're playing three different formats, I don't know. It was some tournament, it probably is this one, and then they announced it, everyone's like, that's just stupid, and then Star City Games allegedly had some insider information about, like, Vintage coming back as one of the three formats that your team had to compete in. They claim they didn't, but they magically raised the price of a bunch of, you know, staple Vintage lands, so what a fun coincidence. Boy, how opportune of them. Or, I mean, serendipitous. Opportune implies that they knew about it ahead of time. Gee, I wonder why I used that term. But then again, I mean, I'm saying it's stupid because, oh my gosh, they basically have a boat anchor now and they can't win because, you know, every single round they're going to take a loss. But um, you could just say, don't let a cheater on your team. Make sure everybody on your team is not some dishonest douchebag. So, I mean, there's not much more to this. I mean, the guy's like, I'm losing. Oh no, my team's counting on me. There's money and prizes on the line. Okay, cool. I'm going to toss two cards in the graveyard and hope they don't catch it. And then... I mean, did his opponent catch it or not? That's what I don't get, because they're so, so skimpy on details with all this. Wizards never wants to give all the evidence. I don't know why. Did his opponent catch it? Did a judge catch it? Or did they catch it after the fact on video? I want to know which. See, people losing a game and wanting to turn it around because they feel entitled to win or really, really want the prizes, and then cheating is exactly how every single game went at my old LGS from hell. Everybody did that. They would always, always, always overdraw cards like Collected Company. They would overdraw Treasure Cruise. They would overdraw... They would just hold eight cards in their hand. I mean, it was just, oh my gosh, this deck is falling apart, but it's better than yours because yours costs 20 bucks, mine costs 800. Remember, Tarkir block. I'm entitled to win. I've been playing longer. I'm a better player. Ooh, I win all the time, so I, I should be able to cheat. I, I feel authorized to cheat because I should be beating Desolator. Wake up. Magic doesn't work that way. Oh, and it especially doesn't work that way when I brought a deck specifically to beat their deck. 
Yeah, it's janky and fragile and single purpose, but guess what? That single purpose is beating them and their stupid deck, and they were too stupid to realize it. So yeah, I've been on the receiving end of lots of cheating. I've caught it. Everybody just plays dumb, like, oh, I didn't know. It was an honest mistake after I've been playing this deck for eight weeks straight. I'm sure that's the same crap that David Wolf tried to pull, but guess what? You toss a God Pharaoh's gift and an angel of invention into the graveyard, yeah, they're gonna catch it. So the moral of the story is, uh, be vigilant in all forms of play, always watch for your opponent to cheat, especially when they're desperate, and uh, don't go to a, a pro tour, a GP, or a world, whatever the hell they called this cup thing, the Cuphead World Championship, uh, because everybody there cheats. Seriously, seriously, Travis Wu, who has been to like multiple tournaments in a row, said that he would say about one in three people were cheating at Sealed. Based on just an extrapolation of the number of people who have gotten caught cheating on camera or on day two, on day one, it's probably, you know, two to ten times higher. So we're talking huge, huge numbers of cheaters. Somewhere between like one in ten and one in fifty in all likelihood, according to some mathematical projections that are based on mostly theory, but that sounds about right to me. I mean, just look at the natural chance of winning a game of Magic, all things considered, and then look at the prevalence of the same people winning over and over and over. That shouldn't happen. It shouldn't be mathematically possible within the realm of luck. So this will rub some people the wrong way, but if somebody keeps winning over and over and over, it's probably because they're cheating. Simple as that. I mean, look at Fabrizio Antoni. He was cheating for four years. Look at that, like, Alex guy that they let back in after getting banned for cheating twice. So he got banned for cheating, came back after the ban wore off, immediately got caught cheating again, got banned, and now they just let him back. Organized high-level tournament play is a disgrace and a joke. Don't watch it, don't support it, don't participate in it. I'm so disgusted by it and so, like, disillusioned from everybody getting caught constantly cheating that I didn't even know it was this weekend. And honestly, I don't care who wins or already won or where it is, whatever, who cares. Stick to FNM, guys. I'll see you next video.